Okay, so I am recording now, and so I'm working with um, Rebecca, and Rebecca went to run G Cloud, and um, she's getting this very common error message that says um, scripts are disabled on this system for more information about execution policies at this address. And so the fix for this is uh, I've asked Rebecca to open that web address, which is Microsoft.com, in a browser window. So she's done that. So um, as she kind of navigates there, um, it kind of more or less, um, you know, wants permission to run certain commands at the terminal. And so it's it's a security feature that, you know, um, certain commands are not allowed to be run. Um, and again, this is on, uh, when she went to run G cloud. Um, and so the fix for this is if we go ahead and scroll down and, um, it, it explains these different levels of permissions that you can have. But if we scroll down a little more, we're going to, it's going to start giving you some actual commands that we're going to run. Um, and so down, 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 uh, policy scope current user, local machine. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now we're in PowerShell and it's giving some commands. We're going to scroll down some more and get execution policy. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, these right here are what we're looking for. And um, in the window that says set execution policy remote signed, Um, which is like the second one there. Let's go ahead and copy that. Perfect. Okay. So now um, let's go ahead and just for the time being, back in Visual Studio, let's kill the terminal window. So we're going to close the terminal window there. And let's close Visual Studio just for the time being. And let's on the Windows machine click Start. And you'll notice it's it's a PowerShell uh, window that it's asking you to do this on. So type in the word PowerShell, which is just another command line window, um, kind of higher privileges. So let's right click that and run as administrator. Okay. So this is kind of like, this is kind of, uh, again, a, a, a command prompt window where we got full permissions to do this. Let's paste that command in there. This is just something you have to do once. And so go ahead and hit enter. Okay, and it says, do you want to change this policy? And I'll hit uh, A, yes to all. Okay, and that that should fix it. Now go ahead and close that PowerShell window. Now we should be able to go back into Visual Studio Code and open up a new terminal window. And I'm going to type in G Cloud, and I think it was a minus help for the help command and okay so now we're getting a different error I think it's minus minus help so let's put two minuses in front of the the word help and now G cloud is in fact working in her terminal window so I just wanted to do a quick recording on how to fix that problem because uh, while that might have been covered somewhere else in the class, I, I wanted to um, solve it because I, I know everyone pretty much encounters that on a Windows machine.